you're using XFS is a nightmare because you can only scan. You can't use the catalog because nothing's supporting the catalog right now. And we have the same problem with ZFS, except the ZFS fragments the data and moves it around. So you've got to know you're on ZFS. And then you've got to take this one more step. You've got to spit out the image and then take the image to a, to a machine that understands ZFS and mount the image that you've extracted. And then go look for your JPEG because it's got to be able to understand it. So in XFS and ZFS, we've got a couple more steps. But yes, we can, and they're coming, I'm sure. We'll get something. Yeah. Thank you. Which one? OK, go ahead. I'm on it, too. Yeah. Well, yeah. Your problem is always the unknown portion. The uh, you know, it's like not knowing the controller, not knowing how to dynamically create it. Not, I mean, but you've never seen any of those guys discussing this method either. But unless you don't know this already, they hired me for the SEC 606. So I'm teaching this now for SANS starting in June. Okay. So maybe they'll write about it. <laughs> I don't know, but that I mean I've I've been through that a couple of times. I'm not going to say it's you know I'm going to blow by it really easy. This may still take me two weeks to actually get to this spot. I've got to do the physical repair. I've got to do the images. I've got to take them and phys physically. I mean, if you take, I mean, and and, and Scott will tell you this from his uh, from his raid array. If you you can saturate the raid array and you can have all kinds of problems and you have the same problem when I you know on a laptop I go hook up four drives and actually try to reassemble a raid array. We're talking some CPU power here and I/O. So you've got, to have, you've got to have some throughput, and you've got to be able to do it, and it'll still take you a week to spit out an image. My whole point is to, I, want, I don't want to have to spit out an image of the, all the hard drives weaved back together unless I had a good idea that was it. Because you used to have to wait a week, spit it out, look at it, figure out if you had the right thing, go back to the drawing board, and do it again. And two months later, you are whipping out your final image before you actually have the data. And that's what's happening in forensics is they had a good drive. They already knew it was good. They knew it was assembled, but they did not know what it was after they made images of these physical disks. But you can do it. I do it all the time. So, so this like speeds up the process. Yes. You know, what the order is yes. Okay. This is, if you don't know what the order is and you don't know what the configuration is, this, this is how you're doing it. This is a physical example of how to actually go through that process. So at least, I mean, I, I kind of made it up, so I don't know if anybody else is doing it, but... It worked for me on thousands of drives. So, I mean, I've done probably 500 raid arrays this year. So, nobody told you you couldn't do this. So. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I knew that that's what I was looking for. I could look at the JPEGs and I could tell that. So, uh, and you know when you're missing something too. You know right away when something's wrong. So, I got a drive in the other day and they said it was just one drive. And I'm looking at it and I'm going, well, there's stripes. I mean, it's not one drive. And she's like, oh, yeah, well, he said it was a mirror. Well, it ain't a mirror. Go get the other drive and bring it back. Because it's a, it's, and that happens all the time too. People go, it's a mirror. It's not a mirror. Uh, otherwise, we wouldn't be doing a recovery for you, probably. So, that's right. Any, Sam? I know you had something, man. You were uh, gonna say something. All right. Yeah. Okay. Don't we buy this software? Do you come in the box with the software? I don't. These people don't even know who I am. So it has nothing to do with this software. It's the same process, even if you use runtimes or something. Now, I know the guys at Runtime, and their stuff is really great, but it does take a little bit more work to figure out what you're going to produce. So when they're, like I said, when their software is right, they try to do an entropy test, and when it's right, it is right. It tells you flat out it's right, it's green. If it's not right, you have to guess. It, it doesn't mean it won't work. It just means they tell you it's not right. So... Or in you know in case X Wave Forensics they they do similar things but they treat you like you don't know what you're doing they guess and if they're wrong you're stuck that's the problem so anything else you guys good thank you.